374 billion pounds. That is a lot of money. It's more than the GDP of some entire countries. However, 374 billion pounds is the figure that the Yorkshire Building Society in the United Kingdom has said is the amount of deficit that the British public has in savings. What that really means is that to be able to sustain a good future, the combined British public would need to make up an extra £374 billion. Seems insurmountable and impossible, doesn't it? So each person is £7,000 short of the amount of savings that it required to actually sustain a good future going forward. It's a lot of money. Yes, we've been through lockdowns which are coercive and the government has been really obsessed with them and there's been a real turnaround in the way things are done over the last year and a half but there's more to it than that. Perhaps it's worth thinking that some of the old-fashioned ways of investing and looking to the future are perhaps obsolete. The younger people perhaps have a little bit less faith in pensions. They see it as a long-term strategy which means you have to work all your life 45 years, maybe 50 years of work with an increasing retirement age to get out of it even less than you earned. There are lots of entrepreneurs these days who would rather buy property or invent an app or do something, something like Airbnb renting or something else that would actually generate a, an immediate income that equates to what they could earn in a job or perhaps going forward would increase rather than having to tread water for 45 years to get out much less than you've put in. So that's one thing. Uh, other things that we've seen in the 1980s have gone by the board. There's no such thing as endowment mortgages anymore. Nobody really does that. They exist, but it's very unpopular. So nowadays we're looking to a new generation of financial independence. Even the decentralized financial services have come. Cryptocurrency and uh, all kinds of tokenized ways of investing and trading. These are, are very new and very popular. Meme stocks, <coughs> very, very volatile and actually very popular. <laughs> you know, there is finally something that has volatility in the markets and all of the possibility of being able to influence the markets by getting onto Reddit and having your say and putting things up on a social media board and creating your own volatility. This is effectively taking the bull by the horns and making your own market and being a master of your own destiny. I think that is the way forward. Trading with a good quality, long established company that has good credentials and a large asset class range for, for, for trading. Such as ETX Capital, we have 5,000 different instruments to trade. We've been around 50 years and we continue to innovate all the time. Our trading platform is our own proprietary platform. So we also provide lots of uh, updates and market insights and opinionated ways of looking at what's happening in the news and, and in the financial markets at, uh, on an up-to-the-minute up to basis. So join us on our Telegram channel and subscribe to our updates and news analysis. And every day we will provide you with anecdotes, news and important important ways that you can make decisions on the markets to help you on your trading journey.